hello beloved welcome back to my channel god bless you the word of god is very powerful the word of god is quick and powerful according to the scripture in hebrew chapter 4 verse 12 and this word you're about to listen to is from god's church servant opposed to professor Justin suleiman and he was addressing some numbers of pastors actually not just for pastors as a christian also and he was teaching on a very important topic which i want to watch yourself because i don't to give you any can I use what expo but just watch the video and definitely your life will change ah for sure your life will change so please watch this video and do not forget to like share and also subscribe to this channel for more updates god bless you one time i was in a certain country and um <laughs> apostle vincent was with me in that country and <laughs> i wanted to pray and they said the vice president of that country wanted to see me and as a faithful son, he came and whispered. He said, Dad, the vice president wants to see you. I said, let him wait. Agata, 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 agata. And he whispered again, sir, please sit down, apostle. He said, sir, the vice, I mean the vice president. I said, let him wait. I was still praying. After a while, I wasn't answering him again. I, after one hour, two hours, three hours. And he, he came uncomfortable. He said, ah, the, 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 the man, they said, man, it's gone. I said, let him go. It's because of what I am doing that he had the results and came in the first place. If I continue doing it, he will come back. Let him go. I can't leave the closet to attend to him because I don't have an answer for him yet. You can spend 30 seconds with a person. And that becomes the defining moment of that person's life because you carried a word from his presence there's a king african king that is so connected to me he has blessed me massively we spoke on the phone for the first time he greeted me i greeted him he was very arrogant he said how are you why don't you pick up your calls i said i'm sorry sir he said okay I said, sir, you are somewhere that looks like a forest in the midst of three people. Can you move away from there? He said, that was all. Call ended. Can you move away from there? He said, call went off. He called me again. He said, so someone can see this. As was the matter, I said, this man came, took me and said, nobody can see it. You saw it? I continued from here, I stopped. <laughs> After I finished, I told him, I said, I'm busy, call me back. He said, give me time. Arrogant king. He said, give me, I'm oil, wealthy guy. He said, give me time. I said, give, give me time. And I gave him time. And he called at that time, and I gave him another time. Am I the one that has problem? Uh -huh. So I settled that and I called him. I said, Highness, I've been seeing your several calls. I was in the service. How are you? He said, I'm fine, my father. I'm fine, father. I'm not, not my father. I'm fine, father. I'm fine, father. I'm fine, father. I'm fine, father. I said, um, Can I call you back? He said, Okay, father. Okay. My, my, wife, my wife is here. I don't know if she can say, No, no, no. I don't want to talk to the queen now. You know. Um, um, I was in the country myself I was in the country myself and Dr. Fidel and the president wanted to see us wanted to see me but in my usual nature I like opening doors for my children so I said follow me follow me at least enter a president's office and shake a president I say, and when you get them, don't tell him you want to take a picture. Let him tell you he wants to take a picture. If you get that, don't. I tell them, if you disgrace me, this is the last door I will open. <laughs> don't walk into that place. Hey, yes, yes, yes. No, stand tall. Don't be dishonored. Make sure you have, sir, is complimentary. Shake him with your hands and stand square. I say you only bend down for mentors. You don't bend down for people in power. So we walked in there with our phones. The first thing they said was drop phone. I said drop here. I said, I said drop here. 
Yeah. I said, I say, he sent for me. I didn't come. I don't drop my phones. So I said, I can turn back now. Oh, sorry, sorry. And I went in there. Guess what? His wife was waiting. He called out his children. He called out family. Apostle has come. He said, no, we don't meet in the office. Let's go home. We went home and I sat down. And I said, uh, Mr. President, um, I said, I have a solution for your country. And um, we started talking. The wife worked out, sat down, and all of them were looking. And I, 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 oh, I, I, I was so excited. Dr. Fidel just sat down like, like we have seen this thing. <laughs> he just sat down, and we are just having a wonderful time, wonderful time. And um, you need a word. Tarry. Get addicted. Your problem! Can I ask you a question? He was given a life to keep. That was his business. Yet he was busy here. So ministers are so unserious. Sometimes you, you, you are asking yourself if they have alternative outside prayer. If you have alternative outside prayer. Busy here and there. So what are you busy doing? You can be everywhere and you are nowhere. You can be active and not effective. He said, keep it. He said, but as thy servant was busy here and there, he left. There are so many of us who have lost so many precious souls because they came with problems. They came with issues. Rather than spending time in God's presence, we are busy here and there. On the phone, making God, chatting money till night. Some pastors chat more than Yahoo boys. They chat more than Yahoo boys. They will chat. Your wife is tired. Who are you talking to? 1 a.m. you are chatting. 2 a.m. you are chatting. This is supposed to be a pastor who lives are committed to his hand. Lives, lives. People came because of their problems. They left because you could not meet their needs. They left more complicated. I was in my office one day and I, I saw two elderly men came and I said, okay, welcome. Where did you come? Why did you come, sir? Eh, my son. My son. Elderly man talking to me. Say, my son. I said, yes, sir. Eh, somebody recommended us to you. I said, who? Eh, he spoke beneath. They were not, they were not here. In other words, they call him and mentioned it was a native doctor who recommended them he has been handling their case for three years so he recommended them and i said native daughter recommend you to me why initially i was almost getting angry we are not colleagues i'm not a, i'm not a higher native doctor and he's a junior native. so because it's only colleagues that refer themselves am i talking to somebody here so why will they have value? why 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 <laughs> refer he say he say oh, 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 oh. that means he, he say he's tired he's tired he say we should go <laughs> and meet you that uh, the only person he knows now that can do this thing is Suleiman he's in Nauchi. that's his problem so when I heard it I was excited I said okay I said uh, but sir you entered here you were saying uh, my son my son is that what you call him he said, hello, 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 hello. I said, okay, so you people will come. What have you done? They began to tell me, and I said, okay, let us pray. While we are praying, a word came concerning his son that he had in Holland. And I mentioned the son's name by the Spirit of God. Mentioned where the son was there. And he tapped the other man. Omioi, 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 Omioi. You understand that in Benin? It means he saw it, he saw it, he saw it, he saw it. While I was praying, now what made me laugh? I was praying for the man. His eye was looking at me like this. I will send a few things. I will say something. He will confirm. The other man will confirm. I will say something. He will confirm. And the next thing he told him, I said, Getting, getting. 
That means like, look power, look power, look get him, get him. These are elderly people. But all of these are not a function of a wishful thinking or dilly darling. Presence. Don't assume you have it. Spend time and carry it. Am I talking to somebody here? The presence of God is resident in the life of man who spend time to tarry. Scripture says, he said, be transformed by the renewal of your mind. And this renewal of your mind can come via the word. And I believe that this word has done something marvelous in your spirit, has done something marvelous in your soul, and that's giving you a change, an everlasting change that even the devil will know that something has happened to you. God bless you. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more quality content like this. God bless you.